Bob, so you got a pretty nice forecast for today and uh, tomorrow looks to be quite a gem as well. Tomorrow, and there's another really nice day in there too in that extended forecast. I'll tell you which one it is. All right. However, it probably won't be Saturday. Yeah, and there's the game. That's the day of the game. The big blue game. Or, blue and orange scrimmage. The blue and orange scrimmage. And I just happen to have a graphic that demonstrates. <laughs> we do have a threat of some showers. There is a fairly weak disturbance that will move through. It's not a great chance, but there is a chance of some showers kind of in between all oh, about uh, Oh, maybe as early as about 10 o'clock in the morning to somewhere between six, somewhere in there, we might get a bit of a sprinkle. Well, the festivities begin at 511. Yeah. And then so. there's that concert after the game from yep. Jordan Sparks. So hopefully it'll be fine for that. But you might think about uh, bringing an umbrella. You might end up just leaving it in the car. Nice for today and Friday. A rain question mark for Saturday. Nice on Sunday and breezy and cool by midweek. Here's our almanac page for today's date. Just wanted to show you that our forecasted high and low will be very close to normal. In fact, you can't get much closer to normal than that for this Thursday, the ninth day of uh, April. As far as precipitation, we had uh, 12 hundredths of an inch yesterday, and uh, that's a little bit above average for the date for the month. Here's what we have for you. We are right at the normal mark as far as this portion of the month goes. Here's our severe weather outlook. We do have an enhanced risk of severe thunderstorms that brings uh, possibly some flash flooding, some large hail, some isolated tornadoes. That's a possibility. And then for tomorrow, the uh, severe weather won't be as widespread and it moves further to the east coast. Right now we have some showers and some thunderstorms, a lot of them putting down a lot of rain. Places like St. Louis and Cincinnati, you're under a flash flood watch for today, so we could see some flash flooding. Meanwhile, out here in the west, we have uh, what little precipitation we had has pretty much dwindled down to hardly anything. We have clear skies across southwestern Idaho. Here's our future cast. As we move through the time steps, we're going to have a weak disturbance move by, just inject enough moisture into the atmosphere further to the north. And with some daytime heating, we could see some spotty showers, but that's uh, out of the Boise area. And for Friday, just about all day Friday looking great. However, on Saturday, then we have that cold front move through mainly in the morning and then the, some showers, but then we clear out for Sunday. And here's a little closer view of our area. This is this afternoon with some spotty showers further to the north and northeast. We are clear much of the day. We are clear throughout uh, Friday, but then the clouds start to move in early Saturday morning. Rain on our doorstep Saturday morning and some of those showers could uh, continue into the early evening hours. But after that, I think we're in the clear. Mostly sunny skies for Twin Falls and partly cloudy to mostly cloudy for the Sun Valley area with a chance of some rain and snow. Rain and snow mainly this afternoon for the McCall area. Mostly sunny for the western in the valley and mostly sunny for Canyon County. And Boise looking at mostly sunny skies. Looks gorgeous out there right now. Here is our extended forecast. So Friday looking especially nice, 69. There's that uh, pesky 30% chance of showers on Saturday. Nice on Sunday. Monday looks really nice, 71 are high. Could see some showers again, cooler and breezy, Tuesday and Wednesday.